Now at 6 o'clock, parts of Victory Drive are back open after a police pursuit involving a convicted felon turned into a shootout. This happened last night around 8 o'clock. Savannah police confirming the suspect was shot by one of their own officers. Turns things over now to WJCL 22 News with Lydia Blackstone joining us live now from the newsroom. Uh, this all happened in front of the Home Depot located on Victory Drive and so many of our viewers know where that is. Yeah, absolutely. It's something this area really doesn't see a lot of. When that suspect was pulled over by police, he then fled the scene all the way to the Home Depot where he shot at police and they shot back right at him and now he's recovering in the hospital. This is what Victory Drive looked like Sunday night. This is what it looks like Monday. Shoppers like Brian King going back to their business after violence shut it down just hours earlier. He says he wasn't shocked there was a shooting in Savannah, but shocked where it happened. I hear gunshots in my neighborhood over in the state streets quite often, but uh, around here in the commercial uh, district, you really don't see any problems like that typically. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says a police chase brought homicide suspect Gregory Griffin to the front of the Home Depot. That is before upending traffic and hitting another driver on victory. Police say that's when he brought his gun out, firing at officers. You don't pull out guns and you don't shoot at police officers. You just don't. Three fired back, hitting Griffin. Just very clear um, circumstances under which uh, police officers are authorized to use deadly force. And, you know, if that's one of those cases that the officers acted within the law and within their training, uh, then we fully support those officers. In 2013, Gregory was convicted of gunning down and killing an 18 year old. In 2022, he was granted parole. Now he's back in handcuffs. I think the uh, suspect in this case would agree it didn't end well for him. Griffin was taken to Memorial Health and this returned to this. And because it was an officer involved shooting, it's being handled by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. We'll continue to update you as this is an ongoing story here at WJCL News. Greg. Olivia Blackstone reporting live in the newsroom about a developing story overnight. Lydia, thanks so very much.